This is a Taylor 816 CE. Sadly, it is not mine. I don't get to keep this thing, borrowing it from a friend, but we have created an acoustic impulse response pack from this guitar so that you can have some of the DNA from this guitar in the direct output of your guitar. Now the 16 series, this is an 816, uh, the 16 means Grand Symphony from Taylor. You might be familiar with uh, the 14 series, like a 414 or 714. Uh, the 14 series is, is one of the more common uh, body shapes from Taylor. That is the Grand Auditorium. So the Grand Symphony is going to be bigger across the body and across the waist. So you get more sound projection, more output, but you also get like a stronger low end bass response. So uh, I love Taylor guitars. I love the way they play. I love the way they sound acoustically. Now I love the way they sound plugged in with these IRs too. One thing that they're known for is they, they can be really shimmery. And that's a really good thing, but sometimes you want just a little bit more bottom end. This one uh, will give it to you because of this larger body style. This one features a spruce top, rosewood back and sides, the 800 series from Taylor is almost at the very top of their line. So this is a very high-end instrument from Taylor. It sounds incredible. And uh, like I said, now you can have a little bit of this sound in the output of your guitar. So in the opening demo, what you heard was uh, this guitar being played mic'd. Uh, in this example, I used an Earthworks SR25 microphone. Great uh, instrument microphone. Um, and then you heard the direct out from the, the expression system in this Taylor, and then you heard the IR applied, and the IR from that SR25 microphone. What I hope you heard that is that while this guitar sounds really good plugged in, um, it sounds way better with the IR on, and it sounds a whole lot closer to the actual mic'd acoustic tone that you get from this guitar. So next I'd like to show you how these impulse responses can affect the direct output from a variety of different acoustic guitars from a whole a range of price points from budget all the way to some pretty high-end guitars. You're going to see that these IRs will make pretty much any acoustic instrument that you play sound a lot better. So let's start with this Orangewood Brooklyn Live. This is a great guitar but it is a very budget friendly guitar. It does not cost a lot of money. I love the way this guitar plays and the way it sounds. I've done a review on this guitar here on the channel. I don't love the way this guitar sounds plugged in. Uh, because it's a budget instrument, it has a budget level piezo pickup system in it. We actually use this guitar to create uh, some of the IRs that you get in this IR pack. So I'm gonna show you what this guitar sounds like plugged in, just its direct tone. You're probably not going to like it very much. Maybe you have a guitar that sounds kind of similar and you don't really like it. I'm going to then show you what it sounds like when I turn the IR on. All right, so moving up in price range just a little bit, we get this Takamini FD360 SC. They don't make this guitar anymore. I bought it almost exactly 20 years ago, so I've had it for quite a while. But I think this is a good representation of uh, a sort of a mid-level acoustic guitar. It's not cheap, it's not super expensive. It has a piezo pickup system in it. Takamini's uh, one of their old digital preamps on this thing. It sounds better, uh, a lot better, I think, than the orange would when you plug it in straight in. I think this is an example of a pretty good sounding piezo pickup. I don't like piezo pickups at all, So, uh, but this one sounds better. Uh, so you're gonna see now what this guitar sounds like direct, and then with one of the IRs from the Taylor 816 IR pack.
Finally, I want to give you an example of a high-end acoustic guitar with a high-end pickup system to show you that even if you do have a really nice acoustic guitar with a great pickup that sounds really good, plugged in, these IRs can take it to the next level. This is a Martin D35 that I have had for quite a while. I love this guitar. I have used it uh, for years and years. I have an LR Bags Anthem pickup system that I put in this guitar, and I love the LR Bags Anthem. I think it sounds great. This guitar is actually one of the guitars that we use to make one of the SB options. SB meaning soundboard. That would be any kind of pickup that is mounted to the soundboard of the guitar, not an undersaddle piezo. So the LR Bags Anthem is an example for that. Taylor Expression System, Pickups are an example of that. Uh, if you have something like a K&K &K Pure Western in your guitar, that is a soundboard transducer uh, type of a pickup. So there are three SB options. SB1 is made from the output of this guitar, which is a dreadnought guitar with an Anthem pickup system. I think there are many of you who are playing something just like that. I'm gonna show you what this sounds like direct and then with one of the IRs applied. So what you get with this impulse response pack is uh, different microphone types and those will reflect the different mics that we used to mic this guitar to make the reference samples. We used a handful of mics, some of them, a couple of them are modeling microphones to get models of some very high end uh, mics then they really sound great and the different models really do give the different IR sort of a different character, a different texture. Some are a little brighter, some are warmer, some are much more natural sounding. So you get a wide variety. And then for each microphone type, there are seven different pickup type IRs. So you'll see, for example, the C12 SB1. The C12 is the microphone type, SB1 is the pickup type. So SB again is soundboard type pickups. So if your guitar has an anthem system in it or a, uh, the expression system from Taylor is a good example. A lot of users have found really good luck using the SB options with their Taylor guitars. Uh, or if you have a K&K &K Pure Western in your guitar, you're gonna wanna try one of the three SB options. So SB1 is a little warmer. SB2 is gonna be brighter. SB3 is like a blend of the two. It's gonna be in the middle. There are also three PZ uh, options for each microphone type. That means piezo equipped guitars. The majority of acoustic guitars that have electronics in them I think out there have piezo systems in them. These IRs will help those sound way better. Get rid of that quacky, metallic-y, thin, gross, uh, plugged in acoustic sound. And then I've also included in this pack uh, an, an option called EXP. EXP meaning expression system. It is uh, made matching the direct output of this guitar to the mic sound of this guitar. So if you have an 816 Taylor, you definitely want those because it sounds the best. Uh, but if you have a Taylor guitar with an expression system, try that one. Uh, this Taylor, um, like I said, it's going to have a lot more bass response than a lot of Taylors. So you might find, if you have like a 414 or a 214, something like that, you might find that the EXP uh, IR in this pack sounds a little thin because this guitar has so much bottom end, uh, the IR you know, didn't, isn't really supplying extra bottom end. In that case, uh, I would try one of the SB options. But for Taylor users, there is an expression system option in there. For you. you can use these impulse responses in a wide variety of hardware and software applications. If you have any of the modern HX uh, hardware units from Line 6, Helix, Helix LT, uh, Pod Go has loads IRs, uh, HX Stomp, HX Effects, Helix Native, 
all the IR's work in there. In the README files, I've included a, a simple guide for you for some really popular hardware software solutions to know which IR's to use because uh, we've included different sample rates as well. You get 44.1, you get 48K, you get 88.2, I think, K, 88.2, yes, and 96K. Uh, so if you're an Iridium, Strymon Iridium user, for example, you can use the 96K uh, IRs in the Iridium, turn the amp modeling off uh, if you do that, unless you want your acoustic guitar to run through like, you know, uh, a Fender Deluxe, you can do that too. Uh, in most cases though, I would start with the 48K IRs. Try those, uh, but in any case, read uh, the, the uh, product manuals or the guides from the software hardware that you're using. If they load IRs, typically they'll tell you what sample rates that they will accept. Uh, if you really want to go um, sort of the, the best budget way to get going with an acoustic IR, if you've got an acoustic board, is uh, the Moore Radar. It's a $100 little pedal that can sit on the, uh, on the end of your board that'll load IRs. I've tested it. It works just fine. It sounds great. Um, and you can load any of these acoustic IRs in there and you are good to go. comes to playing acoustic guitars live, I have always thought that, that we can do better with the direct sound of acoustic guitars. And there are certainly really good pickup systems and different pieces of hardware that you can use, but I've always wanted to get closer to the mic sound of the guitar direct, which is why I really went down this rabbit hole of building and making acoustic impulse responses. And uh, I say this in all these videos, but every time I use these, I, it floors me how good they make the direct output of acoustic guitar sound, how much more like a mic guitar they sound. So I'm excited to share these with you. I hope that you have the same experience with them as well if you decide to pick up uh, an, an acoustic impulse response pack or two from Worship Tutorials. Links below where you can get all of those things. Sadly, I have to say goodbye to this guitar. I wish that I could keep it and play it more often, but you know, you can't have all the guitars, right? You can't, no. This one has to go back to its owner. What a guitar, this thing is so good. I hope that you enjoy this acoustic impulse response pack. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one, bye-bye.